Okay, so now we have, okay, so, but now we have explored series and data frames. We're going to import Excel. Now this is so cool. I honestly love this. So what I actually have here, I have two data sets. So we've got .cv here and here, and I've done them through Excel. So they're just down here on my screen. We have two. So this is the second one that we'll be using and this has just got some empty kind of blank screens in here blank entries and this is the second one here which is completely full so we'll be using these two today okay so the way that we get python and, and pandas to read a specific data frame so these data frames we have here we have a data set my data my data too the way that we get you know pandas to read a csv file and I'm using CSV because it's a lot easier just as a beginner it's easier to understand how CSV works uh, we will say DF for data frame for short we'll say PD dot read CSV and we'll put the CSV that we have so I think it was my data I think dot CSV there we go and if I was to print this DF now you will notice there we go look at that it produces the exact data frame that I have. So my data set, which is this one here, it produces this, but in Python, awesome. So there we go. Now what's cool with this is we can also locate elements from within this file. So let's start locating rows. So we'll say, okay, df.lock, and we'll say we want the zeroth element. So let's say this will return the first row. Okay, we'll run this and i didn't print it I need to print it for it to come up so we'll run this there we go so it prints the first row that we have which apparently all the cars bicycles and motorbikes and trucks all have a hundred awesome and then similarly we can say so let, let's return um different rows so the way that we do that is i'm going to copy this above we're going to put the com the other one we want so let's say we want this row here number three and i'll just put brackets around it which is what we need i'll print this and hopefully it'll return zero and three there we go awesome produces zero and three and we can also take a slice so i'll copy it again and in here you just put a colon and to whatever wherever you want your slice to go we'll run this and there we go it's sliced between zero and three that is so cool. Honestly, I love pandas. It's one of my favourite libraries. <laughs> there we go. So we've done, you know, imported a data set uh, and we've also located specific rows within this data set, which is just so, so cool. Now, something else to mention is we can use the head and tail operation in pandas. And what this does is if I say print df.head, this will produce, so I'll just put, this will return the first five rows. Okay, so if I print this and run it, notice that the first five rows appear. Now, this will return the first seven rows. So essentially, we'll copy this dot head, and whatever value you put into this head argument, that will be how many rows it will return. Obviously, within the range of rows you have in your data set. So if I was to run this, notice seven rows come up because I've specifically said I want seven. Awesome. So now I'll say this will return the last five rows. And as you guessed it, it's df.tail, open bracket. We'll run this. And there we go. It produces the last five rows in my data set. And then we can say this will return the last, let's say, three rows and all you do is you just put an argument into here so three okay awesome so i run this there we go produces the last three how cool is that now the final thing i'm going to show you is let's retrieve some information about the data set and all we're going to say is print df.info and this will produce the information about the given data set so here we go this is kind of the the kind of um, so this here is the information that we get about the data set and there's a whole range of different things we have memory usage so that's how many memories it will take to kind of store this this given data set that we have uh, it gives you the type 
and also here which is really really handy it tells you the non-null count so that's how many entries are empty so notice when i move back on here none of the entries are empty and i'll be exploring that later what happens when they are empty so none of them are empty we have kind of a typical uh information that it says there's four columns which is true we have four columns one two three four uh, and it says nine entries zero to eight and also just says there that it's a data frame so info is very handy it can give you straight away you can see straight away whether the uh, mismatching so if certain elements have different non-null counts so if some have empty sets and all sorts of things like that so info is very handy if you just want to have a summary of your data set to begin with and i find it really really useful so that has been the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to support the channel even further then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos and also check out the donation link in the description of this video but for now i will see you all in the next video